Hi, Ian Roberts, Mastering Composition and Simplifying the Painting Process. Uh, be sure to share this with your friends if you think you've got artist, artist friends that would like it. And today I'm going to look at a series of photos of Venice. All pretty much the same scene, but just trying to figure out. I want to share with you the process I'm going through about why and how I would choose and crop a particular image. And I'm going to do the drawing this week on grey paper with white chalk and pencil. And the supply list of what I'm using is down below. Um, and the best way, when it works properly, you have the paper actually, the, the tone of the paper actually doing a lot of the work. And you just have the shadows being done with the pencil and the highlight being done with the chalk. So you've got the range, something like this, of light to dark. But as it turned out, my particular image, the darks kind of got away from, I mean, they just required too much uh, pencil work for very much of the paper to be coming through. So I just wanted to show you two drawings. These are by Nikolai Feshin of how this is used so that you see the flesh is primarily the paper tone. And he's just got the highlights bringing the thing out and the shadows sort of deepening the sense of form. So I'll show you the photos now, and then about two minutes of my drawing, and then the finished drawing at the end. So when I was in Venice two, three years ago, I took a lot of photographs. And, you know, there's that idea of a gondola going down the canal. And I thought, oh, this is great. There's good lights and darks in this. But the gondolier is sitting there reading his phone. But I thought, well, I'll have a look at it, and maybe I'll crop it. So I came in tight tightly to what I'm sort of thinking of, but then, in fact, the fact that he's reading his phone is even more obvious. So then a moment later, he, start, he put his phone away and he started down. But this thing I find kind of, even though it's on a gondola, kind of awkward, but look at the character himself, I mean, the gondolier himself. It looks like he's cut out of cardboard. And if he's going to be against the light, then he's got to have a, something that really grips our attention in terms of it looking lifelike and not like a cardboard cutout. So a moment later, he's turned the, the gondola and now he's got a nice curve. And you may think that doing a figure like that is easy, but it's sure a lot easier if he's actually in the pose you want. And now there's like a nice sort of interplay between the dark and the light. But how would I crop that image? First, I'd get rid of that light here because it's sort of too bright over on this side. And so I'd come in, say something like this, exaggerating this side against a small amount here, and I'd probably cut some off the top. Something like that. But what happens if we switch it? so that we cut this one off and get a nice big dark. You see how beautiful this dark is here with this thin little line just where the water is. But unfortunately now the gondolier is pretty much dead center, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but is kind of a static place to put him. So I went back to this. So there's the finished drawing. And you can see I've gone much darker here just to make sure that this whole thing is pushing us in. And we've got that kind of gradation into here where the most contrast is right there with the figure. But the only place I really, I mean, there's a few places in here, but the only place you really see the paper color that's really doing the work is right in there uh, after all that. But I like this. I think I'm going to do a painting of it for next week. So as always, I hope you found that helpful and engaging. 
Uh, please do like it if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and sign up on the email list if you want to get this onto your inbox on Tuesdays. Um, so listen, I hope you have a great week. I hope it's full of creativity and exploration, and I will see you next Tuesday. So I hope all is well, and have a great week. Bye for now.